What's happening, everybody? Uh, so, the people who've been watching a few of my videos um, have seen that I have a 10 gallon tank that's completely aquascaped. I also have two 5 gallon tanks. Anyway, this is my new project. Uh, yes, if you're curious where I am, I am in my basement and uh, this is a storage room where I'm having to do this because my wife, uh, <laughs> she uh, doesn't want any more tanks anywhere else in the house, especially ones of this size because I'm going to be doing some breeding. But So I have everything. Um, the hang on the back filter, I'm converting it into a non-chemical. Uh, got the last piece that I need for this. This is the full spectrum oh, uh, LED light that I ordered for it. And let me see if I can get this off while holding the phone. Alright, so uh, uh, down here, by the way, this is a uh, TDS meter and a TDS meter and a pH meter. Uh, if you don't know what if you're unfamiliar with TDS, uh, that stands for Total Dissolvable Solids. These are really good because if you read a really high, if you have a really high uh, reading, um, you know, beyond the size of your tank and all of that, um, what it's going to tell you in general, uh, it'll let you know if it's high, that means you have either high nitrites or high ammonia, uh, high GH, KH. Um, I won't go into details as to what all those mean, but if you if you have a high reading, then it's letting you know that you need to check for which one of those things that it is, or simply just do a water change and avoid the whole trying to figure it out. You, you know, but anyway, it gives you a reading for all of it. And of course, I got the uh, pH meter because. Um, you know, I'm tired of using those little strips that you dip in there. Um, anyway, so let's let's check out this light and see how bright it is. Well, I guess I should have pre-done some of this first. Yep. Uh, sorry for the weirdness on the camera. I'm trying to untie this and get it plugged in so you guys can see what it looks like you know this is for a this is a 40 gallon wide breeder I set up my power strip here oh oh that just that just fell over all right so let's check it out Oh, there we go. Wow. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's um, that's gonna do it. Uh, anyway, it has uh, it's supposed to. Anyway, I'll figure out how to adjust this later. But um, oh, well, guess we just tested its durability. All right, yeah, that's gonna be nice. Awesome. All right, get some plants. Yeah, this is gonna be fully planted. Uh, I have lots of things over here that I'm going to, in future videos, because as I'm building this, you guys will see it grow. I have um, all of the heaters I need for it, filter, filtration, the light, um, and then, uh, this is some dragon stone. Uh, this series stone, I may not use this. I don't know. You have to soak it in a chemical to get all the calcium off of it anyway. And some um, driftwood here. Uh, you know, I can attach some Anubias, Java fern. I'm definitely going to be growing a bunch of crypts in there. I already know because I'm propagating some plants upstairs in another tank. Uh, I use fluval. Uh, Fluval has worked wonderfully. It's not too expensive, but it's not too cheap, and it has a lot of nutrients. So um, stay in touch for future videos as this tank grows. It's going to be awesome.